everybody. Hopefully everybody's having a good Friday. So as I was uh, uploading some of my Twitch streams from last night, I got a breaking news alert from my ESPN app. And it looks like uh, the Raiders are finalizing a deal with Antonio Pierce, which is, I think that's great. I'm so glad they were just like, well, you're the, you were the interim. Uh, we're going to go somewhere else. We're going to move somewhere else. I mean, because Bill checks out there. Harbaugh's out there, Vrabel's out there, uh, who knows, Sir, Sirianni, we don't know his status, is he getting fired, um, I think he's going to come back, just like McCarthy, at least one more year, that's my opinion, I don't know, he might be fired tomorrow, or after the weekend, maybe they're waiting until after uh, the playoffs, but yeah, um, it seems like all the interviews I've seen post-game with the Raiders, uh, from uh, watching uh, NFL Red Zone, and on ESPN, it seems like uh, all the Raiders players are behind Antonio Pierce. So I like this. I think Antonio Pierce is a really good coach. Uh, if they can get some uh, decent uh, targets to come to the Raiders, I think the Raiders could be a sleeper team next year. Um, you know, see how he healthy, uh, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo will stay with the Raiders. But yeah, I think this is great. It's a great move for the Raiders. And uh, some really b other big news coming out for the games on Sunday. Looks like the Bills is going to be out with going to be playing without Gabe Davis, which is a huge blow for the Bills. Uh, he's having knee issues, so I um, mean they still got one of the top five best wide receivers going on Sunday with uh, Stefan Diggs. So, but. I think uh, Gabe Davis is a solid wide receiver, so I don't know. I'm hoping somebody will step up, excuse me, for the Bills in Gabe Davis's uh, absence. So it's going to be an interesting game on Sunday, so we'll see how that uh, Chiefs and Bills game plays out.